Hi guys, my name is Bryant. I'm one of the admissions counselors here who helps students who are specifically interested in the animal science, pre-vet and equestrian studies. So we're about to enter the Dr. C. Richard Beckett Animal Science Barn and it's a 31,000 square foot barn that was built in 2009. And I think that you will like what you see. So I'm going to be a little bit quiet because they are having class right now, but we just entered the main lobby. Uh, the main lobby is just a really nice place. Students can kind of sit in here and they have magazines around, different information for you to learn about the different various industries. And um, it's just a communal place that you can come. But these are our classrooms. Right, so you can kind of tell that those classrooms are uh, divided or not divided right now, but there was a wall that can make them two classrooms. Right now with COVID, it's one, just so that we can keep students apart. Uh, it does have fully functioning Wi-Fi, and I do like to mention that the class sizes on campus are an average class size of 16 to 1. Our class sizes out here can get up to 50 to 60, but they're maxed out at 65 students, and we keep our animal handling classes to about 15 to 17. So anything that is going to be hands-on and with the animals is going to be really small so that you get a lot of experience. Uh, those classes also will serve as a meeting area for some of the clubs and organizations. They have some scholarship events in there, and um, that about sums up the classrooms. All right, the exciting part. So we have the lab here. The lab area is mainly storage, but we do have some pretty cool uh, devices in here. We have the microscopes. We have an autoclave, so it cleans a lot of the tools that you're going to be using in class. And then we have a centrifuge, which will um, be really good for blood withdrawals and stuff. They will divide some of those cells from the blood and use that. It spends like 1500 like times per second or something crazy. <laughs> but it's a really cool device that we have. Uh, in this room, we also have all of our banners for the cattle show team and the sheep show team. If you want to be a part of those teams, it is free to join. Uh, you just have to have interest in it and attend the meetings. They will teach you in the first month or so how to show the animals. And then they have a mock show where you actually get to show to a, a renowned judge from the industry and that show will determine who goes to all the the main events <laughs> so the cattle show team does go as far as denver colorado so you do get to travel a little bit with each team and they are pretty successful as you can see some of these banners they also show at the state fair uh, a lot of them are from the, the state fair definitely a good opportunity good experience you just have to have your your own show clothes but they pay for the animals to get there. They pay for your food, housing, and all the things. So we're stepping into your classroom now. <laughs> this is where you're going to be working a lot. Uh, we have about a thousand animals here at max capacity. It can get up to about 1,200. And we have about 1,700 animals across campus that you'll be working with between our cattle, sheep, goats, llamas, alpacas, pigs, and horses. Uh, so we have a lot of animals. We are mainly a large animal facility, but if you're looking to be a small animal vet, we do have some opportunity for that. Not quite as much, but our goal is to get you into a vet school, and that's what we'll do, and then you can decide what you want to major in. Here in the middle, we do have the cattle chutes. Uh, so the blue part is the actual chute. You're going to put the animals in there uh, for various different reasons. They do check for follicles when the, the cattle are pregnant. They will do some ear tagging sometimes, do tattooing. Uh, different things happen in the socks. The great part is the scale. So you're going to use that when you're talking about proper dosages for medications, the, your nutrition classes, and uh, determining whether the animal is healthy or not. And then the red part is just a loading shoe. Nothing too impressive about that. Over here to the left, we do have the sheep shoe. 
A cool thing about our program is that we offer an ultrasound course. I think we're one of the only schools in the nation to offer that ultrasound course. Uh, and, and it's really an awesome opportunity that you'll use a lot on the sheep and with that shoot. Here are some of our sheep. You are going to be doing a lot with all the animals. We have different reproduction classes, different nutrition classes, and you're actually going to be doing all the things with them. Uh, you'll be docking their tails, uh, ear tagging, you're gonna get to shear the sheep, uh, and we're actually gonna go into the maternity room. So this is our maternity room. The babies will stay in here for two to three weeks. Uh, it is a heated room, so it's a good place for them to come. We like to keep the main barn nice and cool, so we leave those doors open all the time. Cuts down on some of the sickness and disease that might go around with these animals. And I always like to mention in this room that the more you're out here, the more opportunities that you're going to get. I know this past winter we did have a baby, it broke its leg, and it's an unfortunate event. Uh, but with you know almost 1,700 animals on campus, there's something bound to go wrong. Everything has its own mind. And the cool thing is that something good comes from that. Students get an experience to x-ray the leg, to make sure it gets casted, make sure it doesn't get infected, make sure it stays nursing. Uh, so a lot of learning opportunities come from things that go wrong. And if you're out at the barns a lot, uh, whether it be in class or just on your own time, you're going to get exposed to some of those things that are off the cuff. And everyone's experience here is going to be different because of that. I do also like to mention about this room. Since it's heated, it also is a surgery room when the other surgery room can't be used. I say surgery room because you're going to be doing minor surgery starting week three as an animal science pre-vet major here. And you're going to be the one with the needle and the scalpel. You're going to be cutting into the animals. And it's awesome that you're going to get hands-on experience starting in that first few weeks here at the University of Finley. So we did just kind of pass our hay pile. We go through about 4 million pounds of hay per year uh, between the three farms. That's the animal science farm, the western farm, and the English farm. At this farm we feed square bales and round bales, both grass hay and alfalfa. And the cool thing is that you're going to be in a farm and equipment management class where you get to learn how to operate a lot of that equipment. You'll get certified and you can move the round bales <laughs> with the equipment. You can help clean out some of the stalls and stuff. So it's a, a nice class to have. We're standing next to some of our cattle. We do have the largest low line Angus cattle herd in North America. We have this breed because it is a more docile breed. Uh, they're a little bit smaller. So it's basically an Angus cow cut off at the knees. Uh, and we can have more cattle here on campus because they're smaller, easier to take care of. And about 50% of our students have never had experience with large animals. So having something a bit smaller is really important and it, it won't intimidate our students as much. Uh, we do have llamas and alpacas turned out out back uh, and you will get some experience with them in a handling class. You will also give them injections and such. They're a little bit more sensitive animal and it gives students a good experience on how to deal with an animal that might freak out a little bit more. I don't know that we can find Libby. Libby is the only dairy cow that the University of Finley owns and she has a fistula in her side so it's literally a hole you can screw off the lid, stick your arm down in there and they actually will take out samples. They'll feed some of the digesta to other animals in the barn and then they'll also take those microbial samples and look at them under the microscope, see how Libby's digesting food. And the cool thing is that it doesn't hurt Libby. It's just a good learning opportunity for students. Um, and Libby was actually born sterile, so that's why she has the fistula in her side. We needed to give her a purpose. <laughs> you can kind of see her out there. Way out there, that she's the brown cow.
So the University of Finley does own about three quarters of a country block. We have about 150 acres between this farm and the western farm. We also have the goats. As I mentioned earlier, the, they just dehorned the goats. So some of our students actually got to put, get the anesthesia. They got to use the scalpel, make sure the horns got off or got taken off appropriately. And that's one of the things you get to do as a freshman. We have some baby cows. These guys are just a few days old. So if you are interested in studying abroad, there is a program called Loop Abroad. Uh, it definitely helps our students get some international opportunity. Uh, we also have several different clubs here on campus that we encourage you to get involved in. So one of them is Pre-Vet Club. Pre-Vet Club is really important. It's like a required, not required class uh, or club, I should say, because we have a different vet school come in every two weeks. They're going to present to Pre-Vet Club and one of those vet schools might be one that you're looking to get into. So it's a really nice opportunity for you to, to take part in. We also have Block and Bridal. They do a lot of different events across campus trying to make sure that all the students know about our animals and they hold a spring formal. So uh, a lot of, it's a dance and it's a lot of fun. Uh, they hold that at the Lynx. It's a local golf simulating place that has a nice dance floor. And they do a lot of events throughout the year. Another great club to get involved in. Uh, we have others such as truck club, save the bees, uh, we have a poultry club, horse club, a ton of agro agricultural clubs to get involved in. But if there's not something that strikes your fancy, then you can create a club. You just have to have three people and an advisor, and you can create whatever you want. You can kind of see off in the distance here our western farm. As an animal science student, you will work over at the Western Farm a little bit with our horses. Uh, there's an aisle over there dedicated specifically to you. You're going to be doing a lot of different things with them as well. Injections, learning about uh, some of the things that go wrong, colic, and all kinds of things with the horses. All right. So this is our grain room and storage area. So I like to point out the grain room because it's inside. So we do feed from grain silos. And if it's raining out, you don't have to go outside to feed the animals. It cuts down on the amount of bags that we have to, to purchase. So all of our pigs come in. They're already bred when they get here. They'll be in the farrowing stage for about four weeks. And they stay in here because the moths will actually lay on the babies. They'll crush them and then they eat them. So it's, it's good that they stay in here. These piglets are just about a couple weeks old. So the nursery doesn't have any pigs in it right now, right. but this is the next stage in life for the little piglets. They'll move into the nursery. At this point, the students are going to get to do a lot of different things with the pigs. They're going to be docking tails, they're going to be clipping needle teeth, they're going to be ear notching, and they're going to be ear tagging as well. They're really going to learn a lot about the production side of the pigs and the organization that goes into that production. Uh, is going to be a super key aspect. And then the, the pigs actually move down this direction. And they get a lot bigger. <laughs> so our 
students do get the opportunity in that production class to learn what it's like for a pig's life to go from farrow to finish. And then we're going to step into our cattle showroom or our utility room. All right, so right now it's turned into a classroom because of COVID, we're trying to spread everybody apart. But typically it's where all of our cattle, cattle stuff is. Uh, they do bring the cattle in here, prep them for shows, and then they'll transport them away. Uh, but right now as a classroom, they're learning a bunch of different things, uh, a lot about the medications they have to give, uh, and they're, they're focusing on the deep warning. So that's what this lesson is. A couple weeks ago, they were working on reefing. Uh, so a lot of different techniques on how to work with animals and uh, how to make sure that you're going to be prepared to be a vet. All right, last but not least, we have the sanitization room. We'll see if you like them. So students step in here, they're going to spray off their boots, they're going to use the sanitizers that we have uh, just to make sure that everything stays nice and clean. And then they bring their boots in here. So as an animal science student, you do have to purchase a pair of rubber boots. You're going to get assigned a rack for where they'll be placed each day. They do stay out here at the barns. It really cuts down on the diseases. And then we also recommend that you purchase a set of overalls or coveralls. Those aren't required, but we do have spots around the room that you can put them on. Uh, students also will be washing their hands at the end of the day. Uh, this room is ventilated and we take a lot of precaution in making sure the disease doesn't get spread across campus. I did say this is the last thing, but the actual last thing are the freezers. So the freezers hold pharmaceuticals and semen tanks. Uh, also at certain points during the production class, you don't have meat slabs that need to stay cold. They can only be in there for so long. But we do have several different production classes here. We have the equine, swine, cattle, sheep, and goat. Uh, so you're going to learn about all the stages of life for all the different animals. I think that about sums up what the barn has to offer here for the pre-vet uh, and animal science students. I would definitely encourage you to visit. It's a really great facility and I look forward to seeing you.